So the more popular that Justice Democrats become, the more unhinged the attacks on them become. And I just want to walk you through here really quickly, basically, what it would be like to be Ilhan Omar and to really digest the vicious hatred out there, irrational hatred out there for her, solely because of who she is. So um, here's a tweet. It's from a user named Donna Jacobson. She says... Aside from all her deception and cheating, Ilhan tweeted that she thinks, quote, all white males should be in chains until they submit to Islam. This is an ISIS terrorist sympathizer. Get her out of our government. And then they even go as far as to put, you know, call the ethics committee and they put the number and all that stuff. And as you can see there, 1. 6, uh, 1,600 retweets, 1,400 likes. Now, this is just a little sampling here. In fact, I'll give you one more. Um, RT uh, tweeted this out, but the story is, you'll see, the story is, political jihad is their game, said a now-deleted meme targeting the progressive squad on an official Republican page. Official Republican page. So this is the Illinois Republican page, and they tweeted out, instead of, you know, how they call themselves the squad, I don't know who came up with that, I don't know who ran with that, it's a little cringy if you ask me, but they changed it to the Jihad Squad. The Jihad Squad. So, listen, for people like us, most of the people who watch this show, you look at stuff like this, and it's so over the top that it's almost funny, because it's like, how can anybody... Number one, come up with this. Number two, run with it. And number three, think it's even remotely serious. Like, you could just dismiss this instantly and laugh it off and be like, whoa, is this dumb. But, you have to understand, there's a strong contingent in this country which actually hates Ilhan Omar and the squad. And they will pretty much instantly believe anything that they're told about them. I mean, the President of the United States has gone out there and said that Ilhan Omar is pro-Al-Qaeda. One of the first of two U.S. Muslim Congresswomen and the President of the United States is saying she's pro-Al-Qaeda based on a totally mangled, out-of-context BS claim where Ilhan Omar was talking about 9-11, and she basically said, hey, listen, don't blame all Muslims because some people did something. But they took out that quote of some people did something and act like she was saying, like, 9-11, whatever, bro, it's just some people did something, not a big deal. That isn't at all what she was saying, but they made it seem like that. So, you have what's basically equivalent to an incitement campaign against Ilhan Omar. And you can make up any claim you want. It could be as insane as humanly possible, and many people will believe it. And it will spread like a virus. And then, by the way, here's the kicker. The death threats have shot through the roof against Ilhan Omar. As a result of this stuff. So, it's dangerous. And I will say, when they have no argument at all, at all, these are the kind of tactics they revert to. Making stuff up like Ilhan tweeted, she thinks, all white males should be in chains until they submit to Islam. They can't actually make a coherent argument against what her beliefs are. So you just smear her, and you just make stuff up, and you're as vicious as humanly possible, and you put her in danger. And you'll notice this with Trump, too. Trump can't attack them on the merits, so he just smears them in as vicious a way as possible and says, you know, they hate America. This is coming from a guy who ran on Make America Great Again, meaning it is not great right now, it's terrible, and we need to try to fix it. That's exactly what Ilhan says. Now, they disagree in the way to fix it, but she criticizes America because she wants to fix it. But she doesn't get the benefit of the doubt of, oh, when she criticizes America, it's to make it better. People who are, yes, bigoted, say, oh, she criticized America because she hates America. Love it or leave it. Love it or leave it. What well, can people say that to Trump when he criticized America? Love it or leave it. 
Why are you criticizing it? You don't love America? I guess you should leave then. This stuff is dangerous. By the way, what have been their main issues since getting into Congress? For Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, her first bill was to crack down on usury, and she's working with Bernie Sanders on that. So what does that mean? It basically is trying to ban loan sharking when people get screwed over by financial institutions who are basically price gouging them. So it bans, I think it makes the highest an interest rate can go, I think 12%. That's what she's working on. That would not only help the overwhelming majority of the American people, that would help the overwhelming majority of Trump voters. So that's what Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is working on. Notice Trump didn't say Dickie McGee's acts about that. Why? Because you can't argue against that because what she's doing is helping everybody, including many Trump voters. Ilhan Omar, what's she been working on? Very simply, her main issues issue to this point, foreign policy. She's led the charge on saying, hey, we got to get out of these stupid wars. Hey, let's not get into another war with Iran, with Venezuela. So stop and think about it. The main thing Ilhan Omar is working uh, on, day in and day out, is one of the things that Trump, in part, campaigned on. And all Trump's voters love Trump for that. Yeah, Trump says we need to get out of all these dumb wars and rebuild America. I'm for that. Ilhan Omar comes along and says the exact same thing and actually fights for it. And they hate her. I wonder why. Listen, we have to be vigilant and we have to fight back. This is why you don't back down to these bullies. Because they're paper tigers. There's nothing they could say that's actually true. There's nothing that, that they can say that's actually convincing to people with a certain minimum IQ level. So when they fight you, you fight them back. You don't back down. And you explain to them why they're full of shit, they're liars, and oh yeah, by the way, I'm even fighting for the people who hate me. I'm making sure everybody gets health care. I'm making sure everybody has a decent education. I'm going to stop the financial institutions from ripping you off. I'm going to end the wars. So we have to keep on with this battle. But make no mistake about it, guys. There are some people out there who are, as I call them, TFG. You all know what that means by now. Tell everybody in the comments section who's new to Secular Talk what TFG means. But there are plenty of TFGs out there. We don't need to back down to them because they have no point, they have no argument, and all they have is fear-mongering tactics and lies, which is why they come up with stuff like, all white males should be in chains until they submit to Islam. The idea that Ilhan Omar would say that, the idea is many people say, oh, she's trying to bring Sharia to this country. Ilhan Omar marched and danced in an LGBTQ pride parade. Does that seem like an ultra-fundamentalist to you? I'd say no, you idiots. I'd say no. So they got nothing, man. They got nothing on them, and that's why they'll continue to be more deranged and more unhinged, and we just have to be vigilant and strong in our responses.